Hi, this is Kelly Connor from Boise State University Department of Nursing. Today I'd like to give you an overview of a pilot project that was conducted with colleagues at University of Auckland and Western Wyoming Community College to determine the feasibility and the potential for using multi-user virtual reality environments, in this case Second Life, to run nursing simulation scenarios for nursing education. Let me give you a tour of the setting that we used. This is the lab space that we used. There are spaces for students to sit and observe the scenario, although they can move their camera controls anywhere that they'd like to be in the room. Here's the simulation space that was used. In this case, when you look around, there's one-way curtain. The purpose of the one-way curtains is to help achieve the feeling of being in a patient room, making it a little bit more believable that the nurse is in there giving one-on-one -on -one patient care. So now we're switching to a different video clip. In this clip, I'm actually the instructor, um, but I'm pretending to be the patient. I'm in the bed holding my baby. I'm setting my microphone levels so that everything's heard correctly in the, in the local chat environment. My significant other, who's actually my colleague from Boise State, is going to come sit in beside me. And then the co my colleagues from New Zealand are also present. The student's been given information about um, the report that she's receiving and in a second here you're going to see me adjust my camera con controls to see how I'm going to see this, this environment play out. Um, everybody sets their own camera controls so I as the instructor can't dictate what people see as far as um, their camera. So the, if you were a student sitting in those back um, those back chairs, you can actually adjust your, your camera so that you're looking directly on top of the patient so you can really see without interfering in this environment. So now as the instructor, I'm picking out my instructor HUD. This is one way to be the instructor to manipulate the environment in Second Life. There are others, but uh, David Bodily created this. And he did a fabulous job. So as you can see on the upper left of your screen, it says nursing research. There's actually, I as the instructor am wearing this on my avatar. So I can change the blood pressure, the temperature, I can moan, have an IV started. Um, I can do various things so that the um, if the student were to check my blood pressure, then they would see what I just programmed in here. So um, just to recap, I'm the one that sees and adjusts this nursing research um, display, but it, it's up to the student to take my blood pressure in order to see the results. I can answer questions on that if you'd like later. When we ran our first pilot test of our Second Life project, we recognized that the students did a fabulous job asking the right questions and doing the assessments verbally, but they really didn't have a, an idea on how to manipulate the environment, which is really what makes the Second Life project special, is how you can manipulate and use your environment. So what we did is we actually created a room where a student can come in and practice some of the technical technology that's available so that when they are in the simulation scenario they they can use it effectively. So here's the practice room. You just saw me go over there. I touched the sink. I washed my hands and now I've raised and lowered the bed covers and here I am. I decided I was going to check a blood pressure so I hit check. Um, the blood pressure cuff came out. There is an instructor on the other side that, that programmed the blood pressure so I get what I see. Um, same with, with uh, the IV pole, touching it, you have the radial dial button, give you some choices on what you want to do with it. In this case, um, so I'm going to put start IV, a drop down box comes out of the top of the right part of your screen and it asks what, I, what do I want to do. So I would just select whatever my choice is. Um, for the IV, whether I want to start a fluid bolus, whether I just want to start a saline lock, you know, it just depends. Um, it's the same thing with the oxygen mask. So what kind of mask? What rate do I want to start? So we're not physically putting on the mask, but we're, we're hopefully getting at with the debriefing is what choices did I make at that time? What made me choose to put an oxygen mask? What was I thinking about? So, um, the purpose of this room and this part of the project was to get students over some of the fear of 
um, the technology and to really get at what are the critical thinking that you have when you're providing your patient care. We know in simulation that debriefing is the most critical element of a simulation scenario. We know that it's the debriefing where real learning takes place, where students can interact with each other and talk about the choices that they made and the decisions they made based on what elements. We, do, we are able to con carry out debriefing in Second Life the same way that we are in a traditional setting. Here's the table that we use outside of the simulation room. We put around as many chairs as needed and we conduct a debriefing the same way based on the same, same types of questioning that we would do in a traditional lab environment. Another thing that we've built here in this simulation environment is the ability to do a survey. Here's a little podium that says take survey now. You select it and it goes to the website where students can take this, take this survey right at that time. Um, thank you for the opportunity to discuss this project. We believe that virtual reality will hold a place in nursing education and simulation in the future. Please know that we, what we've created here is just one way that virtual reality can be used in nursing education. And we look forward to seeing how it, how it develops over time. Thanks again. Have a great day.